Coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight division collision. Strikers in this division, sprawl and brawl, whatever you want to say, he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. It does not matter how he accomplishes it. All he wants to do is be on his feet and at range, hitting you with the beautiful jab, staying away from the grappling exchanges. You don't accomplish all the things that this man has accomplished over the course of his career without understanding distance. He has great distance management, which then in turn allows him to land all these beautiful diverse kicks Spinning back kick, jumping high kick, so many things he possesses that he will try to use tonight in this fight. Yeah, if this turns into a kickboxing match tonight, most it's people over. believe, yeah, his opponent is in a it's world over, of JK. trouble. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So a more than five year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age, with some differences in height and a similar reach. Now here's Bruce Buck. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, a referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 165 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, Bazooka. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon. Lee! Okay, protect yourself at all time, will be my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. The fighters touch him up. So here we go with the start of round one. I can tell how excited you are for this matchup. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but maybe not. This is a big time fight. It feels like a big moment for both of these guys' careers. Who is going to be able to implement their game plan the best in this matchup between these two big time athletes? Oh, how about this kicking game on full display tonight? Kicks back to back, just truly mixing up the target. Sight to behold. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Straight right hand, no good. Nice punch land. Big left hook coming, it's blocked. And he landed the right hand there. 
All right, so we have got a full-on brawl to start this fight. Any concern that these guys might burn themselves out? Oh, they're going to exhaust themselves. So we may as well enjoy it right now, because come the third round, regardless of the weight class, they're going to look like two tired heavyweights in the middle of the octagon. Straight punch lands. Look at him drive his chin into his own body with that body. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands and he's doing a nice job protecting the dome. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, those shots to the head will knock you out. Not this time. This guy's making sure nothing lands. Oh, he lands the Superman punch. How about it? Oh, lands a vicious uppercut to the head. Beautiful uppercut. Shades of Mike Tyson on punch out back in the day. You couldn't take one of those uppercuts or you would go down. Mike Tyson, or maybe it was Super Sandman. One of those guys just had a crazy uppercut. Lands with the right hand. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. He's in close, so instead of punching, he's landing these nasty, vicious elbows. Strike. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful legs. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard. Double leg takedown attempt here, and that is a good attempt as he gets the fight back to the mat. It's ideal. His ideal situation just happened. He got it on the shot, didn't have to put too much effort to finish. Great job. And he's able to work his way back to his feet. And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. Oh, single collar tie here. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Just misses with the left hook. Such a fast leg kick. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. That's a big strike right there. Oh, Superman punches through. Nice combination of kicks there by Lee. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Oh, spinning back fist out of nowhere. Big kick. Keep your hands up, Come on, man. Very tricky to control that body kick. Another punch to the head. He's really turning every part of himself into those strikes to the head. Blocks the shot. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Nice punch there. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Oh, beautifully timed with the Superman punch. First round winding down here. coming, it's blocked. And that one certainly found the target. All right, DC, let's look at some of the highlights from the last round. Lots of the replay guys to choose from. Yeah, man, these guys stood on a quarter in the middle of the octagon. Take one to give one. Over and over, each guy landed, and they both landed very well over the course of that first round. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. His strong leg packs so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here in this He round. doesn't throw it full power, but even when he faints it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. Lee gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, then. Right hand upstairs. Misses the 
misses with the right hand. Beautiful kick. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're going to have to put something on your opponent that's going to really make him pause. I believe the jab is working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect, so fast, so accurate. Watch the ability to land anywhere. That jab is fast. Look at that jab. Punch is blocked. Superman punch. Ooh. Nice kick landed there by Lee. Takedown defense holds up. Lee gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. The guard lands the right hand. Pretty good right hand. Well, he's certainly keeping busy, DC, connecting with most of the punches he's thrown. I mean, punches in bunches. He's doing a great job. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Some nice back and forth action here. Well, that one should be the mark. Outstanding leg kick employed there by Lee. Man, the body work really starting to take its toll here. Obvious redness on that right side. He loaded up there on that high kick. And we got a fight on our hands. And they separate. Get right here. He's looking to land the right just out of range. Big ball punch land. Now he gets back to range. Lee's head kick looked like that one was blocked. Oh, Superman punch! Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Outstanding kick there by Lee. Slips the punch nicely there. Beautiful body kick. Punch over the top. Nice head kick. The Superman punch is good. Trying to find a home for that right hand. He loaded up on that right hand, too. Oh, he just continues to pour it on. He has been aggressive all night long with his striking. Got to be careful here to not empty the gas tank. So far, so good, though, in this round. Whiffs on the right hand. Thirty seconds to go in round two. Ooh, head kick lands. Was hurt. Oh, beautiful straight right hand. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. So he's bleeding now over that left eye. Hopefully it doesn't impair his vision too much. And the horn sounds on round two. All right, there's the horn indicating the end of the round. So potentially a big factor here, ladies and gentlemen. The cut on the cheek sustained in that round. Certainly better to be below than above the eye, but the cut man's got to get in there and close that thing up. Well, what a round it was. Daniel Cormier, you are one of the greatest mixed martial arts athletes of all time. I'm not sure you can do a Superman punch like that, though. With my luck, I would try to push off and my foot would be slippery, wet <laughs> or something. I would fall right into a knee. 
no, I would not try that. I don't have that ability. I'm not that free inside the octagon. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Ooh, big shot lands. Connects with a right. Can't take many of those, you better check. Connects with a right hand, pretty good punch that one. Nice right punch by this young man. Man, DC, his hands look good. Lot of volume, lot of accuracy tonight. He's doing a great job being accurate, but he's also very fast. Look at the hand speed. Right. Great punch. He blocks the punch. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. There's no tell on that leg kick. Oh, big punch lands. Beautiful body kick. Very nice. Look at the force behind that leg kick. A oh, little single collar tie there. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Nice head kick. Nice loop with bunch. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Hands higher, hands higher. Sneaky head kick. We're well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. Oh, nice elbow. Oh, body kick attempt here, it's no good. Oh, blocks the shot. Good punch. And he lands a kick to the leg now. Pretty good work on the feet tonight by Lee. Now connects with a right. Back and forth we go. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Trying to go for the single leg takedown. Doesn't get it. Pretty good kicks there by Lee. Oh, Superman punch. Not always easy to execute. He did so there. Oh, right under the elbow. Right under the perfect. It was a perfectly placed shot, and you see his opponent reacting violently from that punch. Time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad. Head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Lee gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense here. Plus right hand is true. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. He is... Going after that overhand right. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Man, look at the size of that bruising on his body. Oh. Ooh, what a punch. 30 seconds to go here. Oh, Superman punches good. You can tell he's been working on that. Lee's hook to the body appeared to be blocked by the defense. Right on the button. Oh, he lands the Superman punch. 
beautiful body kick lands right under the elbow. Good punch lands. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. All right, so after he landed a high number of kicks in the previous round, we'll see if he can keep it going here as our next round gets under. He should stay the course. He's so educated with his legs and his feet that he's given his opponent a very difficult time trying to anticipate what's coming his way. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, he's gonna shut your body off. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Great punch landing, so much power. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kiss. Throwing that jab now again, the fighter evades. Oh man, that cut is nasty. And both guys really throwing with authority. Sound defensively blocks the shot. Oh, that straight punch. Knocked his head in the wrong direction. Really putting his opponent on notice. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. And they separate. Ooh, what a punch. Nice body. His opponent's got him in the clinch. He needs to break away and get back to his range because he's taking punch after punch from his clinch position. Able to check the high kick. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Luke. Ball collar tie. Big elbow lands around the side of the guard. Lands a big elbow there. Oh! Just misses with the straight right. That shot is blocked by Lee. Oh, man, his leg kicks are outstanding, and you saw a great example of that just there. And you see his opponent starting to slow down. He cannot take many of those kicks. Amazing that we could get to this point of the fight, and he would not show even a modicum of a sign of fatigue. Well, he's doing a very good job of managing his cardio. He doesn't throw everything 100% power. He throws things to set up. He does a good job of going with the go and going with the slow down. Showing. Look at his cardio. He does not even breathing heavy yet. Good stick. Back and forth we go here. Oh, that's a good right hand. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. His opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it. He was high, and now he's got him hurt bad. An uppercut in. Looks like he's trying to set up a takedown here. There's the attempt. Continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the back with that offering DC. He is hurt. What a beautiful uppercut. It landed beautifully. Perfect placement on that shot. Just misses there with the left. Wow! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad.
again, the winner here was so aggressive with his onslaught that ultimately appeared as though the outcome was an eventuality. So if you're the referee, you got to protect the fighter. And I thought he did a good job of doing just that. So a huge win by TKO for him here tonight. A seminal moment in his UFC career, and that could hold up as one of the better TKOs of the year. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 24 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by TKO, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Well, what a win for that young man tonight by TKO, and if the judges were looking at their phones, it's okay, we don't need the scorecards. We don't need your scorecards. Do as you may, proceed as you may, because this guy knew that he had to finish this fight.